Hi, I'm Jennifer. So I'm a private wealth consultant as well as a senior manager. And my name is Henry. I run an event management company. I live here in Goodwood Grand with our twin goals. This is a three beta at 1227 square feet. Mm. We moved here last December. The rental took about two months, uh, including touch up, slightly more than two months. So we were very, uh, we were very blessed. We have a ID that really helped us to expedite. We moved here, I think, mainly for the girls, but uh, because mainly she's really like a latte and a baguette lady. No, I'm croissant. Or croissant, okay. And for myself, I'm more of a kopi and carrot cake. So, um, kopi tiam uncle. Yeah, so it's a little bit more different. So in this place, when we move in, mainly Jennifer is uh, she's in charge of the whole. I'm the ID. Reno <laughs> and the concept. I, I totally leave it to her. Some of the strongest reasons that we actually we had right is because we are located in this area, and you can see it's a very nice greens outside. So we want to build all around this community, more of like an urban sanctuary, quiet, and a place that we can come home after work and uh, spend some time with our loved ones even over the weekend or even having our, um, our friends over I think that's one of the most beautiful part the only thing I think the design part right I think uh, Jennifer preferred to be a bit more industrial very clean and yet uh, it must have that warmth I actually wanted mm. to play around with the materials right mm. so I wanted concrete for the industrial look so we were hunting around for house or even paint that can achieve that effect until we saw cast panels and then I was like okay this this gives me the industrial raw feel touch and look at it, of it I like it a lot right so after we put out the cast panels um, we also want to introduce like some warmth to this cool clinical industrial look right so we brought in wood and greens the foliage right like you look at the flowers and the plants these are all additional uh, it just came as a bonus because there was a minute pick, pick up a hobby. I spent a lot of time in the balcony because I got to look after all the new babies. Yeah, regardless whether it's in the morning, yeah, I can spend it like maybe two or three in the morning. And over here in uh, this area, we have a lot of strong winds. It's like taking care of the plants, it's like a baby. So in the middle of the night, I'll just wake up and Make sure My that baby needs are, me. They'll be blown uh, away. Yeah, because uh, some of the plants it need not so ex, strong. It's not so strong. The, 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 the roots and the stem are not so strong. I worry for it. Like, I just don't want anything, you know, uh, not to be in place here. Yeah. Everything just came together and then uh, the plants grew. I think the, the plants are happy. The plants are happy, the owners are happy. I initially thought it was just like few pots of greens. Right. And then it turned out to be a whole it exploded. Yeah, whole yeah. family came about. The whole family, so we... <laughs> the whole kampong came yeah, here. We collected and collected and um, it grew and it just became part of us. If you notice for the wood, I, I love the uh, dining table, I love the all this because we love the wood. We waited for the wood, right, almost like about more than two months and we wanted a, a single piece. Yeah, and we tried to get a certain kind of look in, instead of the Indonesian wood, we wanted a certain kind of wood. To me, I think it reflects a lot of stability. Yeah, and a lot of warmth. So even when the girls are playing, you know, they can recognize it, they can feel, they can touch it, you know. It's not good, you, you can feel it. It's really nice, the kind of touch. Mm. Yeah. It's American walnut. Um, mm. We got it from Grey and Sandals. So we got the dining table, we got the yeah. bench, and then we saw it into half so that it could be one half is like as a latch for the TV console. Yeah. Right, the other half is a bench and then this coffee table was actually part of the dining table. And you know, I like this fluted panel design. I was thinking how am I going to um, adopt this into the theme of the house. And I was thinking um, it makes a very good like statement piece at the entryway. Yeah, so we put that up and then the leftover fluted panels, we didn't want to waste it, so we stick it on our DB box actually. So for the master bedroom, we wanted it clean, simple. So we went to King Living and then we saw this bed frame. And, and we really love it because it's, the lines are simple. The legs of the bed frame is so simple, it's something that we wanted, right? something comfy. At the same time, practicality, you know, there's two side lamps that helps us in our reading, as well as that wireless table charge. 
I think space and the light, I think it's quite important. So in the master bedroom, we have adequate light coming in. The girls can just come in, you know, and uh, jump in in a bed with us. That's what we wanted. Yeah, a lot of space for them to move around. And we wanted to give a room each to our daughters, right? So that they can have their own bed, have their own study table in their room. So I consulted them and to be part of this whole planning process. And then they, they were very insistent on sleeping together still. We don't want them to be in their room isolated doing their own work when we, we can't really see. Right? So we hack away one of the rooms so that it's a more open concept. Okay, and put that as their study room as well as our working area. In terms of storage, because we don't have a storeroom, right? so we, I built a lot of floor to height cabinets so that we can keep everything hidden. We are quite specific about it because we really want to recycle the wood. So that in time to come, right, some people they leave behind watches and things like that. But I think wood, greens and all this, right, I think it'd be such a nice piece to leave behind. It's really a very nice talking piece, just like some of the early days, you know, parents would leave behind their dining table or their uh, benches or whichever, right. I think it's something that we can really consider using it and I think it's gold green, I think it's good.